We leisurely pack up, enjoy coffee and soak in the surroundings before heading to the Valley of the Gods. I didn't think we could repeat the magic, but uh, you can. That was glorious. That was a lovely night's camping and the stars last night, probably some of the best I've seen on this trip so far. It was so dark and the Milky Way was so clear that I spent a lot, a lot of last night just staring up at the stars and not actually sleeping. Got it! that like the river just really it just doubles back on itself and then it, it keeps going back around and then it almost comes you can see how narrow it is just there almost touches back on itself again it blows my mind that how long it must have took just to carve this carve this out it's like I can't I can't wrap my head around it that's enough pondering on the geological processes of the planet. Shall we go and eat something? Okay, I'll take that as a yes then. So, this is the Valley of the Gods, is it? It's got quite a Viking ring to it. Don't you think? I like this time of year because it's not sweltering. It's just warm, isn't it? I like looking at everybody's different RV camping solutions. Teardrops. See what works for everybody. ourselves. <laughs> it's stunning. I could be very happy here.
Located in southeastern Utah, the Valley of the Gods showcases a stunning array of towering sandstone monoliths sculpted over millions of years by wind and water. This sacred landscape holds rich ancestral history with petroglyphs and ruins dating back over a thousand years. We've decided to come back to Gooseneck State Park this evening. We've been riding around in the local area, including the Valley of the Gods. And because it was as good as it was, time has run away with us. So we're back here, but instead of parking right over there where we were last night, we've just decided to come under this shelter, which means we can use the hammocks. It's a family show. Why? Why? missing the good light. Over there. Well, it wasn't cold. I was actually on the warm side. We had too many layers on. Um, I have to keep shifting my body position to stay diagonal. So when you get too banana-y, it starts to when I mixed a mushroom blend but then it went a bit wrong when I put powdered matcha tea in it <laughs> that's what I've got a super blend of nastiness <laughs> ow <laughs> ow <laughs> all static charge you're discharging it As we take the winding dirt road up the face of an escarpment, our minds are blown. The views just keep getting better and better the higher we ascend, although this gravel road is no place for the mind to wander and suffer a lapse of concentration. There are no guardrails or barriers of any kind, only sheer drop-offs. We leave the valley behind and head north to our next destination. The Unrally is held at an undisclosed location in Oregon where the exact coordinates are released 48 hours before the event to attendees. It's described as an experiment in intentional disorganisation. Look at that, you can see Monument Valley's right over there. You can see a canyon just in, in the middle ground there. That's, that's Gooseneck State Park. That's where we were earlier. And then we've come all the way up this road here. And over here is the Valley of the Gods.
Oh my lord! Look at that! That's awesome! That's something else. I mean, he's liking this a lot. We've been on the road for a few days now to get here. This is better than what I expected. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Somebody coming fast the other way, just watch him. Yeah. Okay. We're on the other side of camp, not far. I did see your Jeep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All set up. I we came over the over the pass there and I saw this open out in front of us and I went, Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is gonna do. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is it. So good. Good. Where'd you guys sleep last night? Uh we slept with uh I nearly said with friends. <laughs> 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 Actually, where did we sleep? I'm liking this a lot. It feels very bohemian. It has that Mad Max feel about it, you know, being out in the desert, all these different types of vehicles. Aha! Uh -huh. Awesome! Yeah. The Unrally is an inclusive gathering welcoming 200 free-spirited, like-minded folks from all walks of life. Attendees get to embrace all the danger fun they want with human-powered contraptions, mutant vehicles, motorcycles, land yachts to one wheels in the desert wilderness. When a dust storm comes raging through, it's akin to a scene from a Mad Max movie. Guided by principles based on another annual event called Burning Man, the participants are the entertainment and are encouraged to share and embrace a unique blend of art, self-expression, community and self-reliance. <laughs>
decided that we're going to take a trip to the edge of the playa to get some more water. We're with Jimmy, David, Heidi and the kids. Plus it gives us an opportunity to uh, get some air because it's really hot, particularly in the middle of the day. Yo, is it this way? Yeah. Have you filled up? No, it's a big line. Oh, is it? Okay. Is this where we're filling up? Yeah. Oh, look. Look, that's it. Dog's having a bath. <laughs> yeah. Try to smell this. It's opening up my nose kind of like an effervescent eucalyptus, and it's very powerful. Nothing? Not yet. As someone born without a sense of smell, our mate David still really wanted me to give this piece of desert sage a good sniff to see if I'd have any reaction. Now you can't even feel it opening it up. No. Because I can feel it. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we're full. We have water. As the sun starts to set, we all head out to the centre of the playa. form a circle like warriors defending the last bastion preparing for the final battle.
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next week.